It's my turn for a kiss now. <laughs> Sergeant David Andrew Irvin. I'm here to go introduce myself to my kids. I've been away 18 months and uh, we're going to surprise them today. They have no idea that we're gonna, I'm going to be doing this, so it's going to be really exciting. We were in the car, we were like, gee, you're dragging out this thing too long, just cut it off! <laughs> oh, you stinker! I was sitting there going like, why is he wondering where I am? You're we like, outside on me. Yeah, I'm outside on me. Oh, you stinker. <laughs> uh, 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 but why are you still in Washington? You're like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I was gonna, I was gonna, um, yeah, I was gonna, um, okay, fish are on. At the end of the school year comes awards, certificates, and medals, but for one Hardin County fifth grader, she only wanted one thing, a memory that will last a lifetime. WLKY's Colin Mayfield shows us her graduation surprise. Grace Reyes, it was a fifth grade graduation that she'll always remember because of a promise made by a father a year ago. Would that person please come forward? <laughs> Major Julian Reyes was stationed overseas, but he promised his daughter he would be back no matter what. My command released me early, actually. So I'll be able to uh, come in and make it and don't have to come back to Korea. As certificates of completion were passed out to her peers, Grace was called last. Unaware of her father's presence, there was a bit of confusion for Grace as the surprise played out. I was like, I, I didn't know what they were doing. But then, a sight she hadn't seen in more than 365 days. I'm happy. I missed him and I love him. And the emotion was felt all over the room. Later, Grace told us why it's so emotional having her dad gone thousands of miles away and the challenges it presents. It's hard and it's hard to be without him. And it's, it's hard to go through school. I made it. I was probably basically like why she wants to, she wants to you know, tell her that I made, I made the promise that I, I made the promise. And while the family gets as much time with Julian as they can, he tells us he will be deployed back to Afghanistan next November. From Hardin County, I'm Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. And Grace also received awards to recognize her attendance and her good academic standing. Go high. Go high. Go high. Go high. Go high. Go high. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, do do not laugh. Give me another chance, Go high. Go high. So cute. I can't go back in there. So. Oh, look at them. Tell me why. <laughs> well, there's go high. <laughs> That's
Oh, baby, man. Uh -huh. Oh, you're a oh, oh, me too. I, I was going to change. Oh, I got so tired. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. In the bathroom, but. Looking good. Say hello to the camera, buddy. Hi, everyone. Oh, uh, she she <laughs> thought I was deployed. <laughs> she thought you were going home. Oh, I played you so much. I know it was so bad. Yeah. I know these kids are ready. Come around. Come around. Y'all stay there together. I'll knock you. broken when you turn it back around. Yeah. Yeah. Brianna, look up. <laughs> Y'all need your book bag? Ça va On a fait la panique. J'ai une surprise pour vous les enfants. On a une, une grosse, grosse surprise. surprise.